the Australian people never ever gave consent for the, for a corporation to be running their affairs, to be making laws over their lives. The Australian people never signed up to that. The Australian people have never given that consent because the last time I remembered is that the Australian citizens were all under the Commonwealth and not a corporation. When did that change over begin? When did that happen without the consent of the Australian people? I'm reminding all the people now that native title was created by the United Nations. That is a part of the of the um, agenda that's yet to come. The UN, the mandates, as soon as you contract, they come in and they take over. So this is what it's all about. This referendum should have been called a referendum of consent because they're gonna kill two birds with one stone through this referendum. And it's really, really sad that my people cannot see that the ones that are saying yes, they have no idea of what is coming. Half the time, the city don't even know what's going on in the bush because they're so disconnected. So we're talking about people that are corporate driven, you know, that have, 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 have lived in the concrete jungle and not in the bush. So disconnected from spirit, so disconnected from culture, so disconnected from a lot of things of who we are as a people. They don't even listen to the people anymore because they're just making up their own laws and their own rules as they go along because there is no one to hold them accountable because the Australian people have been so compliant, so complicit and so complacent. I call it the triple C. And I'm tired. Our ancestors are only, they were only resting because no one was calling them up anymore. No one was singing them up. No one was bringing the land back to life because you got to remember at the end of the day, we, we come from the land. Nobody owns the land. Everything belongs to the creator and to mother. We belong to the land. That's our DNA. When we get caught up in a constitution or anything like this and in these corporation, it disconnects you from who you are, your very being, your very existence of who we are as spiritual beings, belonging unto creator, belonging unto the land, belonging unto mother, belonging unto our ancestors. These corporate globalists want to d disconnect us from spirit. Do you know what they've done for so long? The reason why they destroy our cultural heritage sites, the reason why they destroy everything about who we are, because if we've, if we've got no country, if we've got no song, if we've got no dance, if we've got no sacred sites, then who are we?